I woke up from yeah. a nap, honestly. I yeah. watched like the first six innings. I did fall asleep. I woke up. I'm thinking, is this some new bizarro post game? I'm I'm listening to uh, Scott Warman and Jimmy Ballgame do the game. We have the high angle flag camera. I'm like, what is going on? Is this some new type of uh, post game broadcast? <laughs> so, if I may, you want? We'll get to your we'll get to your thing. So the power at Bush Stadium went out. Okay, apparently. They had power at Ballpark Village. So I didn't even know what was on our air. I couldn't hear it or see it. <laughs> so I know that there's something wrong, and the, one of the camera guys gets on the horn and says, yeah, they're trying to fix the power outage. So I have no idea what's going on. The air is not. So a game ends. You got your camera guy. You just are in contact with no one, and they're not going to contact me because they're trying, they're trying to get everything Scrambling. back on the air. Yeah. So you go out on the field with no power, and do an interview that there's a 95% chance no one's seeing it, no one ever will, but you do it anyway on that 5% chance that you want to talk to Tommy Edmond about well, being a single short from the cycle, and it was the best interview I've ever done. Oh, I mean, yeah. There was a real connection. It was a back and forth. It was an emotional roller coaster and never aired anywhere. So none of that aired? No. Most people would have and packed I had, it in, Jimmy, and you didn't do it. And I and I had no idea that they were doing I saw on, on Twitter later, people were like, what is this? Valley? So it wasn't Bally. No. It was the power at the ballpark. That's not what I heard. Oh. And I tried to monetize it by using a TikTok that I did earlier that wasn't related on Twitter, saying here's the real reason the power went out. Mm. To monetize. Mm, 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 mm. They would have packed it in, Jimmy. Good for you, man. Always working. So You're Tommy always Edmund, working. You know, who's kind of like the clown prince in the clubhouse. He had a good game. Said, uh, he was joking around. So I said, yeah, the cycle. And he goes, what do you mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he got gotcha. you. He got gotcha. you. He got gotcha. you. <laughs> no one will ever see it. You know what, though? If Tommy Edmund, and he is a great guy, yeah. he could have Smart taken guy. a golf cart right on over to Ballpark Village. The players could have sat down at the desk with the boys. Yeah, man. It's not very far. The power came on by then. Why didn't it air then? Uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea. By the time he could have gone in a cart and gone over there, the, I think the power went on. They lost a masterpiece. They did. That's uh, That was very bizarre. Do you know what I'm talking about the plate, though? Willie Contreras, uh, Contreras. Oh, yeah, with Mad Bum. Yeah, I like that, man. Is that obscure, though? Because kind of. That's, that's kind happened, of something. No, it happened to. For, everybody was talking about. Okay, well, I, well everybody was talking about it. Yeah, like all your enough. buddies and stuff. Boys, yeah. Take up for yourself, boy. No, I saw I mean, the damn all thing. Over, it was all over national baseball. Say, who are you? I wasn't watching Say, that. Who are you? Who are you? It was hockey on last night. My point is, I liked it. Mad Bomb was getting pissed because he was, was he swinging out of his boots and missed? He swung and missed, and he's like, "Oh, I could have had that." And Mad Bomb's like, "What? No, you missed it. Don't don't be don't be like swinging out of your boots and looking at me like, ooh, I just I missed just missed a home run. Is that what they're arguing about? Is that why he got pissed, Bomber? He didn't. He said that. Yeah. The, Mad bump. We have. We might have the sound from Contreras if we do, courtesy of uh, Bally's sporadic power Midwest. <laughs> or Solomon, that, but so, yeah, manager Solomon or Coach Solomon. Anyway, manager Solomon. Uh, few game, uh, the games prior the home stands. I was kind of late loading, and uh, for the home stand, we was trying to be on time. Uh, lift my. My front leg up a little earlier and, and just don't try to too much. Just put the ball on play. So what happened in the third with you and Madison? Uh, Frank, I don't know. I think it, did it, uh, he didn't like the way I swung uh, at, the, at the fastball. I never look at him, back at him or anything like that. Uh, I think he didn't appreciate that. So I heard when I turned around, I knew he was saying something to me. So and if he's getting mad about that, I mean, what can I say? I know it's, I know it's part of the game. Uh, if you say something to me, I will say something back. Um, it was like, for me, it's like my game. You good? Right? Yeah, oh, no, I meant after he finished. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, thankfully, I got on his mind. He, he, blew, he blew all the, in, in, in that in. That in. Uh, yeah. Okay, it wasn't obscure. Never mind. And no, the, I like let's be honest. Flip, like I, what I like is like, and I'm going to tell Charlie this, because we have a full transparency show. So when I come in and can we have time together after we go over our, our, our uh, Tucker, Tucker Carlson notes, mm-hmm. yeah. we talk a little sports too. 
And uh, Cam didn't know the power went out. No, I didn't. I stopped watching. Well, the game was over at that point. Well, exactly. Didn't wanna... It wasn't. The cycle. The exactly. chance of the cycle wasn't over. Help me. Long Once game. It's supposed to be getaway Thank day. Yo. Okay, you beat him. Come Just, on. like, end the game. I took it now. Tommy got the cycle. End the game. I wake up. It's a weird camera angle. I, I'm thinking I'm drunk. It's done by then. I wasn't even drinking. What's I happening? Done. I wonder. I didn't even know. Thank like you, Charlie. While I was there that they were still doing some sort of broadcast from Ballpark Village. Well, honestly, God, because, again, I watched probably the first, whatever, five, six innings. Cardinals are clearly going to win. And I just kind of fell asleep in my chair. I wake up, and I'm thinking, is, is this some new artsy camera angle? Yes. But then the flag kept covering up the pitcher, Jordan Hicks. I'm like, this can't be on purpose. I'm thinking maybe they do it for one play, you know, one pitch. For something different. Then they show the above camera, like literally looking down from a drone or Mars, I feel like, yeah. on Jordan Hicks. I'm like, okay, clearly there's some there's type something. of technical issue going on, which is fine. It happens. It's all good. Nobody's blaming anybody. It's like Bally's. <clears throat> well, actually, it was the, the uh, ballpark. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it happens. So I asked. It's all good. So I got a hold of the liaison from the mayor because I'm trying to track it down. And I said, hey, what's going on with the city power grid? And you know what they told me? Putin. Putin. I knew it. He's everywhere. I actually heard differently. You heard it with me. Who was it? No, nope. I heard because Tucker? the Cardinals are so cheap, they won't they won't pay for a player. They're not even paying their electric bills anymore. Eighth inning, Gonzo. Yeah. It's funny because uh, after the game, people were asking what happened. I was like, I don't really know. I said, but I know what I'll see on Twitter. And they're like, What? Is, what are you? They're gonna say, Oh, bankrupt Bally's didn't pay. The <laughs> yep. Sure He's enough, he's an irresponsible there progressive. He is. Hey, you got any uh, clips back there? I want to hear some homers, baby. Tommy or? Oh, how about Nolan? Okay. Yep. Or whatever. I want to hear some homers. Here you go. Here Let's go. Dingers. Swing oh. drive. Hammer deep right. That's a grand slam. <laughs> Nolan Gorman continues his hot 2023. Woo. The grand slam is fifth home run of this season, Dang. and they continue to pile on. In this ball game, were you surprised that Gorman got the start yesterday? No. Well, he didn't. Okay. All right. I knew you were going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always say I'm a Cam That's Lemming, funny. and I am. But I know once you are. I liked it. No. You really got ten you know game what? with ten hits. No. Ten no. game with ten hits. You know hits. what though? You didn't stand up for yourself against. Uh, I, was I, trying just, to... I didn't. I wasn't soft confident. Soft contact. It was I was all soft contact. Wasn't confident. Hicks I wasn't is confident. Fixed. He's fixed. Come on, man. Fredbird uh, was in a suit. There you go. That was obscure. Hilarious. I saw that. I'm watching things. Tommy Edmond, though, he had a hell of a game. Six hits for the Cardinals. Oh. High fly ball hit toward left. Gurriel going back at the track, at the wall. It's gone. The ball is traveling, and man, the Cardinals needed a big inning. Couldn't let him off the hook. As you mentioned, the pitch count elevating, getting higher and higher. Just a spinner. He goes down and gets it, hits it high in the air, and a three-run shot. Woo! Seth, what's the name of your softball team? We're the Hoosiers. <laughs> the Hoosiers. I'm gonna, um, when I'm, I'm not on this We're part the of the Hoosier. road trip. I'm gonna go get Chip. I'm gonna get Chip to do play-by-play of Seth Close, dude, with the oh. bases loaded for the Hoosiers. Now don't you, we want, we want Brad. Why don't you? You want Brad? No, yeah. he's not the play-by-play guy. <laughs> Well, yeah, but isn't Chip going to be on the – like, he's going to be busy. Yeah. Brad. I'm going to ask him when he's not on the air. I'm not going to oh. I'm not gonna go in there in the third inning and go, excuse me, Chip, mute, mute the mic for a second. <laughs> you need some help with them Hoosiers. You need to call a couple big boys up, I think. I, mean, I got some bad boys out there that hit the ball. We have good chemistry. You do lost you by 15 in one you? inning. The you first need, game. You need some killers, yeah, dude. You need some big boys. We regrouped. You need some thumpers. Charlie, how are you feeling with your stomach? You ready to go here soon? I think I think uh, uh, I have a doctor's visit Friday. We'll see. Okay. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. Look great. I'd like to see Charlie turn on some balls, baby. And like he's showing arm. He got some arms on him. Look, he's Not anymore. Look good, man. Well, that could We'll get it back. You'll get it back. You'll get it back. We'll get it back. Dang right. Dang right. Yeah, you did uh say that uh Kiz had a nice hit and a walk. Take that. He's up batting average up to 125. It it was batting a, it average was up the, to 125 right now, Jimmy. It was a nice hit. Gosh dang it. 125. And he's, it's a nice hit. So I said to him, one of you guys asked me to check on his walk-up song. I don't know which one. Yeah, what was it? And he said he's thinking of changing it to play that funky music, White Boy. 
Mm, uh, no. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. No. I don't know. Some harder. Yeah. Tougher. Get mean. If you if you come up with something. There you go, Charlie. Get mean. Come up with something and I'll bring it to him on the road. Okay. He did have a hit and a walk. He had a hit and a walk. The plan was for him to hit a homer and a double and be on the post game interview, which didn't exist uh in reality because of the power, nor would he have made the post game interview because he had a single and a walk. He had a single and a walk. <laughs> 125. He's all right. Trending upwards. That's all that matters, right, Charlie? Listen, we love Kiz. Yes. We want him to hit. We want him to uh, go out there, handle the pitching staff, come on the show. We want this team to win. We want this team to be good. We want the power at the stadium. We want this team to stop being cheap chokers. Chokers. Oh, stop it, you guys. The Cardinals win one freaking game and all is well now. Get real. 920. Put a name in. Put a name in. Get real. Coxie chimes in. Cam, could you play Fade into You by Mazzy Star in honor of Cat's mic situation? Is it happening again? I don't know. Is it ha- didn't happen with Maddie the other day. Well, didn't happen with Maddie. Some people adjust. Other people will walk 10 straight guys oh. before you make an adjustment. Exactly. Some people adjust immediately <laughs> after the first ball. Good morning, STL. Do you guys read texts on the air sent before or after the show? Half the time I have to listen to you guys on the app after the show aired. Do we, what? Yeah, I mean, what? Played in co-ed Super Draft softball tourney in Myrtle Beach last week, and I saw zero courtesy swings, and we lost several games because the other team took every walk they could get. In men's league, I've got chirped relentlessly for walking. Fords, he chimes in. Charlie walks. <clears throat> you got to be right. It's got to okay, be perfect. But first of all, no. I don't want to walk, but like I don't want to make an out. If you go outside the strike zone, you're going to make an out. Chip Carey would much rather call a hit than a walk mm-hmm. when he's doing this beer he's league softball be league. Dude, these umps walk. don't have tight strike zones in beer league softball. They they're, should. They're giving you six inches. Well, they up, don't. Down, left, right. This my the league I'm in doesn't have the padding behind the plate, which it's usually it's it's a, more of a gray area. Wait, what do you mean it. they don't have the padding? There's like a padding, and if it lands on it. You you got to throw the ball across the plate, and it's got to be a certain level. Yeah, like so it's got to be like in that between. Wolf ball thing that you hit. Like your, I don't know. I think it's like your chin and your waist or something. That's when it's got to come across the plate. But usually, most like better organized leagues, I should say, they have like a little padding behind it, so it has to hit that. Like that a way, second. Plate. That way, there's no yeah. dispute. Exactly. Is the ump like 80 with high socks? Yeah, he's he's pretty old, and we only had one ump. You didn't chirp him, did you? Because he's no, 80. no, okay, no, no. Good. No, he I'm he's a asking. really nice guy. I feel bad when. People do, because he's yeah. just out there, just trying to, you know, enjoy the night. Make any diving catches? I did. I did. Bet you did. I want to see <laughs> I wanna, video. I know. I, I truly do. Come on out. I. You're three and oh. I'm not driving to St. Charles. Well, we play, we start at eight thirty. That's what sucks. He's three and oh, Jack. Can't you just film the damn thing? Isn't there like a, a, a camera that films it, just like they do in all the hockey rinks now, so you can see your kid from home and stuff? Yeah, my uh, my buddy's and got the, one of those like do. GoPro sticks. He could probably use. Yeah, set it up. Yeah. You want me to put it on my on my hat? That way, I'm running around. No, the... I, I don't want to kind impede of. your your athleticism. I just want to see <laughs> video of you making a diving catch. I do too. Or crushing a triple. Yeah. And run into third with your hair flowing. Or a dribbler. All you the just ladies burn everybody. watching. <laughs> Question: Do your parents ever come to watch you? No, they don't. We don't have any fans. No girlfriends ever. and wives. Used to. And I think they yeah, all kind of just sick of they it. got burnt out. Well, you're losing. Well, it's just a you're bunch so, of dudes. They're tired of looking at walks. I know. And you're getting tripped <laughs> by the other team. Well, they're they're like, hopefully the chip here. carry movement might That's get them back. That's very sad. We get no fans. Like, we no got one on your team. Some, no, you need some big boys, though. We got, no. You need a couple big boys. I'm sorry. You need some power in that lineup. You need to, you need to attract other people. We got 18 guys on the boys. team. That's that, Those are our fans. I'm going to evaluate this Eight. team. We're going to kick off a couple we cats. We have 18 guys that can't get a date. <laughs> hey, who's the one dude that you said <laughs> that Half sucks? Half of them are married. Who's the one kid he said wasn't that very good? Um, is he bringing anything yeah, to the what's table? His name? We'll is he call bringing him, a case uh, of beer? Is he, is he making people we'll call laugh? call him Ricky. Does he, he listen? Yeah, they, they all listen. So he oh, knows God. right now we're talking about him, though. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, is he the worst person wait, on the wait, team? Wait, hold on. I didn't even say there was specifically you know, no, there's one guy. No, 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 no. You said there's you one guy. Yes, you you said there's one guy who's really you bad. No, there's, Let's go back there's to the There's probably a couple. Honestly, this guy if I'm knows being, now. If I'm being honest. He knows you're talking specifically about him. I don't know. Well, he's on the hot seat. He's on the hot seat because I'm recruiting Okay, but I have respect for them because they have – His name is Tad. They can can catch the ball in the outfield, in the infield, and they can hit the ball. They they don't take walks. 
So he I already, I already like them more than than the guys that come up and take. We're walks. gonna have a little couple little lineups, even though okay, they can hit on. a ball three hundred and fifty feet. How many walks did you guys administer? We had two, but that's because they had five or six, and then we were like, "Well, screw it. If they're gonna take walks, but even so, when when my friend or when my teammates took the walks, it would be a three one count, and they would sw- intentionally swing and miss at a ball just to stay in the box and hit. Dude, we're paying to hit. Man. We're not going up there to take walks. It needs a couple lineup changes. Go, go, a go take a walk around the park if you want to walk. 15 nothing in the first inning. You better get on with yourself. So, can I circle back? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Jen Saki. I would like to know more about Saki. Solomon. So, he's got his team's jersey on, though. He's just a manager. <laughs> Is he wearing, like, those bike coach shorts? What's he? Big what's his outfit? Khakis? On, God, I can't even I bet remember. You I, think, I think it was khakis. With those it was New Balance, Balance Monarchs. The white New Balance. It wasn't Balance cargo. Monarchs. The white ones. Air Dads. He have his shirt inside out? <laughs> inside <laughs> no, he had, it, he had it on right. <laughs> I no, he, that. We love no, Solly. I, I, I went over to the other side and said what's up to him. Yeah, we talked and stuff. Sal was a great. He's a great guy. Yeah, just, man. He just, well, it's a softball game. It's I mean, it's a social game. Yeah, it's for fun. Yeah, you're right. That's why you really shouldn't, in a league like that, as I'm understanding it, you probably just swing for the fences. You're not trying to work the count. Yeah, so. exactly. And you can go and say hi to a guy who's from your radio station. Work that count. Yeah. You yell at Texas for not leaving a name, but you didn't read mine. Hypocrite. Shake my head, Mad Marine. Sorry, homie. Yes. I'm sorry. Clean it I'm up. Sorry. Clean it up, Chief Ma- Choker. <laughs> Morning, gents. I say Kisner's walk up should be sugar. We're going down swinging. By Fallout Boy, Jeff and St. Chuck. Is that a song? Yes. Sugar, we're going down. Swing it. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Terrible Stop song. It. I don't think he would plant the seed of a strikeout. Yeah. With his walk-up it's, song. Yeah. What if? I couldn't remember for a second the song that we come out to here on the show. It's Wake Me Up, right? Mm-hmm. So what if, what if he played the intro to Hot Take Central? As his walk up song. <laughs> Just one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time. I think it's going to be good. Except, I think it's going to be fun. And he goes Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah, I know because be uh, that was the the uh, walk in song for the uh, reliever. What was it? Why am I blanking on his name? Because I'm so tired. You remember the kind of crazy he gave out roses at uh, Valentine's? To Brebbia. Brebbia. Brebbia's walk in song was "Wham, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go." So if that's okay. I would suggest that to Kisner. Wouldn't be as original as that. Fit Brebbia's personality though. Goofy guy. How does Kiz look at the plate, Charlie? If you had to evaluate him, Dirty. if you had to evaluate him, what would you say? I think he looks like a hitter. As the as the folks say, he looks hitterish. He needs some results. Like yesterday, look, he, I he think looks- I think when you're a backup catcher, and nobody's expecting him to hit 300 and hit a bunch of bombs, but I think you just have to do the little things that you're supposed to do. Now it didn't matter because the game was lopsided. Cardinals win big, but for example, and Kiz knows this, when he comes up, runner on third, less than two outs, all you got to do, you just got to drive a ball to the big part of the field and get a sack fly. Things like that. That's all, that's all he needs to do. If you do all those type of little things, you just help your ball club win games. And I haven't, I, I love the guy, but he's always down 0-1 or 0-2 before you blink an eye. Always. And I think part of it is confidence. Like I think the opposing pitchers see a guy who at the time was hitting 071, and they're just, I'm just, I'm just going strike zone. I'm not going to try to fool this guy. And he'll take, and it's 01, and then they'll throw him something he bites on, 02, and it's just a bad at-bat. He got, he's, a couple of hits would sort of give him a little bit more confidence. Yeah. Like also a new walk-up song. Morning, boys. I kind of feel like Wilson might feel the need to bring the heat a bit more than usual because of the big shoes he's trying to fill. I know he's a fiery dude already, but maybe feels like he's got to bring it a little bit more. I dig it regardless. Just a thought. Happy Thursday, Sharon. I love it. He's starting to be my my number one dude. I like watching him, man. He's always been that guy, though. Has yeah. he? Yeah. Because I never always. saw him play. Always. But I like it, he's man. He's always been fiery, getting good. in your face. Good. Cardinal fans used to hate him. Oh, when really? He was a, That's uh, a good yeah. thing. Yeah. That means you're doing – I like when he throws a guy out and you get up like you look at you like, what? I like that, man. Just like Yachty did. I like it. it also, is. Mad Bum, by the way, this is both sides here. I didn't like when Chris Carpenter did this either, even though everybody loves Carp. When you're kind of ornery, oh, nobody – you take a swing, you're mad at yourself, oh, you're supposed to hit me. But you know what? It's different. When Chris Carpenter's winning Cy Young's, okay, 
when Mad Bum is one of the best pitchers in baseball, dominating the World Series. Yeah. Okay, you're Mad Bum. You're legit. Now your ERA is eight. Mm-hmm. Ten. Ten, whatever it is now. Just pitch. Yeah. Guess what? The guys can hit you. So they're going to they're gonna be mad he when they miss missed. a yeah. meatball because you're not very good anymore. Yeah. Let's he's, be honest. He's a, he's a, a good dude. He's a but great guy. His ERA, I mean, he's hittable. He's not the same guy. He's very hittable. Did he get hurt in the offseason? Was that him with a motorcycle or his uh, dirt bike? A couple that years was ago. Him, yeah. yeah, was he that was... him? He bro- broke his wrist or something? Well, he, I'm just curious. When you're, when you're 53 years old, your bones were a little more brittle. By the way, Pretty Wainwright old. yesterday. How'd he do? So he pitches at Springfield uh, 59 pitches. Uh, three innings, two earned runs on a two-run homer, four hits, three Ks. Uh, I didn't get a report on velocity, which is what everyone wants to know. 96, I heard. Um, but I have a <laughs> feeling he's back in the rotation. He's back, baby. Because he waited. He could have gone Tuesday. He yeah. said he waited. He wanted to do Wednesday, so he was farther removed from his uh, thrown to live hitters so he could extend it more. And I think once you hit 60 – you're on the cusp of whether or not they'll bring you back. And if you're Wainwright and you say, I, w- I want to be back, they're going to bring you back. I thought they already said there was going to be one more. If they did, it happened after the game when Power was there. I think I read. Thomas Zalock said one or two. I he thought said. I read like 60 for the first outing, hopefully 75 for the second. Wayno said he wasn't sure. And then M- Mazalock told me the other day one or two. So I thought they, they were leaving that up to Wayno. Maybe, maybe someone else intervened since then. Interesting. Look, I you, also, get, I, uh, you get you get Wayno back, you get Paul DeYoung back. That's like getting two all-stars. It's like two trades. It is two all-stars. It's two trades. Yeah, you're right. And I think that might happen on this road trip with DeYoung, um, who's, who's okay at AAA. He's playing some third base. Obviously being positioned to be the, the utility guy for the Cardinals. So I think that could happen. What are you going to do with your little time off here, Jimmy? Huh? Besides, come to work oh, in the so morning, yeah, of it's course. Not really time off. Well, well you got a little my bit of a kid break. has a baseball game tonight. Hopefully, the weather holds. He's sure. got a baseball game tomorrow, and I'm excited to see him play. It's I nice, watched man. him at his practice last night. I watched Tucker Carlson. Did you during the game? Yeah, of course. Well, during the blackout, did you? Yeah, yeah. And also Keep up during with my kid's practice. Yeah, well, just on your phone. Yeah. Okay. I did hear some scuttlebutt though that uh, <laughs> that uh, one of the uh, one of the other teams that they play uh, had had their best had their best players quit because the coach brought in like these all stars from like Illinois, Iowa. Oh, really? It's crazy, and I'm hearing that a lot more. Like these teams select or whatever, yeah, whatever yeah. they are, travel teams. Like coaches now, there's so much pressure to win. That they'll, uh, oh, yeah. they'll oh. bring in. Oh, the, uh, pres- the no, pressure. I know. The pressure so of eight year old baseball. 12 year olds. They, they bring in out players from other states. And so the, t- the team knew so the that. Guys are, and they're good players. And Such so pressure. Left. There's a lot of pressure with those with those coaches. So they quit because they, they brought all these. these and they're not playing. Kids. The best players sometimes aren't playing. Really? I think the whole thing is ridiculous because there shouldn't be pressure and because. What percentage of these kids are going to end up even being in college? So they're stacking their teams. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And when man. I say there's at so that, much pressure. At that age, too. I, uh, I'll say it as it was sarcastic. When Tyler was on another team, so the coach, I wasn't there. My wife told me this. And it was just a team that played in the league. They were pretty good, had a good season. And the coach had an announcement for all the parents. And the coach announced that, he was taking a position with a select team Ooh. and making this announcement Ooh. like he had just taken over a, you know, the, the managerial position with the Yankees. <laughs> and my wife was like, the parents are like looking around like, yeah. what? And then he announced, that, and this is, cr- this is how crazy it is. And then he announced, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I didn't know it at the time, but Nick and Pete and the four best players on that team had all signed to go with the select team. Imagine his surprise when he took over. Wow. He did not know that the four best players <laughs> were going to the select team. Hmm. It's like NIL. And, they, yes. and, and the parents were making it seem like, yeah, they signed him. Oh, yeah. They didn't sign Ten him. Ten years, $180 million. They didn't sign him. 
There's no pressure. Let me ask you something. So your kid's and, not that good. If you're a 14 year old kid in St. Louis, what's the best baseball team you could play on? Because in hockey, it's Triple A, Triple A Amateur Blues. What's baseball? I don't. I guess there's teams that are considered Triple A. There's a bunch of select teams that have really good travel teams. I there, and there's a bunch of them. Um, so gamers. There's not, there's not just one gamers. that comes trickle. Are gamers down. the best? I don't know. I mean, that's Wheeler, right? Yeah, I guess he's one of the coaches there. there I mean, there's the prospects, gamer. I don't know which are the. What best. did Frank's kid? I think Frank's kid maybe played for the gamers. Frank. Really? Your, what is that uh, like? The, the AAA mob, kind of mobsters. He's on the mobsters. <laughs> this kid's pretty dang good. Yeah. Where's right, he playing how, now? How old is Frank? Slew, I believe. Yeah. Really? I believe he started Dominic, at Dominic? Indiana State, and now is at Slew, if I'm not mistaken. Dominic. Yes. Cool. The St. Louis Pirates are really good. That's where like Devin Williams played and a couple other guys. What's that, that made considered? It? What's that called? What league is that? What's it called? Like it's just like a like, summer like travel select team. select league or something. Isn't it a summer yeah. travel team? That's what they call it. travel team. Travel. Yeah, they're, they're travel. Teams. And there's a mix. There's like in select leagues. There's some really really good ones. I mean, the kid that started for Tyler's team last year. I'm not. He's not there anymore. He wasn't one of the kids that that left. He had left before. But literally, 6'2", 230, throwing 80 miles an hour. I'm <laughs> As not a 13 year old? Is yes. It? Yeah. And then he, the other kid in the it rotation who st- apparently stayed with the team, who's a really good kid, 6'1", 210, throwing heat. I, I saw the, the, the bigger kid throw a strike. This is to his team. Threw a strike, and it hit the catcher in the chest. It was a strike. The batter had no chance. Hit the catcher in the chest protector. And knocked our own catcher out of the game with a with a strike. That's how hard he threw. <laughs> so did he already hit puberty? What do you think? I'm going to check him out. I mean, can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> you can usually tell. Jim, I want to know if that kid went through puberty. Can yeah. you can you give us an update on he that? He seemed to have a little sideburn stubble. Can that's you as, give us an update? That's as far as I'm going to take puberty. it. It's, it's I, the guy that had Charlie. I am twelve from bench warmers. <laughs> it's usually pretty I obvious. Need to know. Dude, this always happens. The guy like that. Yeah. Usually throws eighty as a thirteen year old, and he also throws eighty as a seventeen year old. Yeah, maybe. he's the best. He's the best player in sixth grade, You're seventh right. grade, I've eighth grade. Like my buddy Rob had a full goatee, hitting bombs as a seventh grader, and he was the exact same <laughs> size and strength as a senior. Yeah. in high school, he was the greatest player in the whole city as a seventh grader, and he became kind of just a, did he not a work, guy. Did he not work out, work on his game or anything. Was he just? No, like- I'm saying he. He was he was built by the way like the Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, I mean he was a really good linebacker in football. But I'm telling you, he hit puberty in like seventh grade. Yeah, was hitting freaking bombs <laughs> off little kids throwing 62 miles yeah. an hour. He looked like your dad, but then he was the same weight, height, and look five years later as an 18 year old. Yep, and he was just Stalled not out. not very good anymore. I've seen that a million times too, man. It happens all the time. I've it seen does. Paulie Chapman, the center on my. Freshman basketball team at Nyack High School had full beard and goatee and would get 15 rebounds a game and knock everyone. And he was like 6'3". And then as a senior, he was 6'3", no longer playing basketball, bigger gut, and uh, full beard. Did you ever see the uh, punt, pass, and kick video of Andy Reid? Yes. Like you talk about. Yes. Have you ever seen? Yeah. It yes, almost looks like it's parody. Yeah, like it's humanly impossible for one <laughs> kid to be that much bigger than the other athletes. He was yeah, I remember at. that. That was pretty funny. Did you see uh, Maxie Scherzer, Nate? Maxie Scherzer gets a little caught, um, a little resin mixed with uh, sweat, as he said, um, and uh, got booted out of the game. I think he's going to get ten games for that. But he was not happy. He was not happy afterwards, Nate, and he even swore on his children, Jimmy, mm. his children. That he didn't have any extra weird tacky ticky tack stuff on his hands. Let's what hear what he has to say. He'll say after you clearly explain that to him on the field. He said my hands too sti- sticky, and I said I swear on my kid's life I'm not using anything else. This is sweat and rosin, sweat and rosin. I keep saying it over and over, and they touch my hand. They say it's sticky, and I like yes, it is because it's sweat and rosin, and they say it's too sticky. It's not, and it, it, they threw me out because of that. If I were starting a band, I would call it Sweat and Rosin. Sweat and Rosin. Wouldn't that be a good name for a band? Look, I like Max Scherzer. He's a really nice guy. I think there had been some people who suspected him of doing it. He's also a smart guy. If they're checking you, I don't think you're going to do it. But on the other hand, the umpires released a statement, and they said, 
Yeah, when when we touched his hand, I have it here. The, the substance read it. Quite real. This is Crew Chief Dan Bellino on Scherzer. Quote. The level of stickiness on his hand was much worse than it was even in the initial inspection that had taken place two innings prior. This was the stickiest that it has been since I've been inspecting hands, which now goes back three seasons. It was so sticky that when we touched his hand, our fingers were sticking to his hand, and whatever was on there remained on our fingers for a couple innings. It was far more than we had ever seen before on a pitcher in live action. So... Hmm. Like I, I, I tend to want to believe Scherzer. So do I. But these guys do it a lot, and if they're saying it wasn't like it was tacky, like it was still on our hands. And look, Sweat and Rosin would be a great name for a band, but Sweat and Rosin doesn't make your hand get to that level of stickiness. It just doesn't. So something. Swore on his kids. There's some. There's some sort of disconnect. Here. What do you think, Charlie? What do you think? If you had a bet. Well, I love Scherzer, but I'm going to believe the umpire here. Why would he? Why would he make that up? By the way, don't you think the umpire is going to go out of his way to not make a scene with this? Yes. Why would he say it's the stickiest in three years? Why would he? Why would he lie about that? I'm not. I'm not saying he is. I'm just. That's why to me it's really interesting. Why would Scherzer say, "I swear on my kids"? Like no one says that if they're lying. No. By the way. I didn't bring this up, but I noticed it. Anybody notice this? This is similar, but not exact same situation. Did you notice Jordan Montgomery the other day when he was pitching that he kept going to his mouth and wiping it on his jersey, and his jersey was a little discolored? Did you notice that? I didn't. That's what I should have picked up. But he kept up. going to his mouth. That's what I should have picked up. That's an obscure... You're not going to have a weird thing in your mouth, though, because... Gum. No, I, so far, I mean, it could have been dirt. I just, I just thought it was odd that he kept going to his mouth, and he kept rubbing it in the same spot, and his jersey was then a little discolored. What if he had a chew in his mouth? Maybe he did. Sometimes, too, like even if you have rosin or whatever, your hands are dry, it's tough to grip the ball, you get a little moisture. Right, but if you have... As you wipe it off, you're supposedly okay. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to go to your mouth, put I, that stuff in your mouth. People do that all the time. Like, again, you can go to your mouth if you wipe it off, you're trying to get a little grip on the ball with some moisture. What I'm saying is if you have an artificial illegal substance, you wouldn't want to put it in your mouth. Yeah. Right. You, hide yeah. It, you hide it somewhere. Nah, put everything in your mouth. It's all good. Played softball for over 30 years. The padding behind the plate is called a mat, and most leagues don't play that. If you can't hit in softball, go to the batting cages, please. 314. Put a name in. No, you should never go to the batting cages for softball. And those teams that show up early for batting practice, <laughs> and come softball on now. they do? Oh, yeah. Some oh, teams do that. Nerdy. They show up early for BP out in the, out in the the field that's not being used. You show up two minutes before the game. I could see you're putting your cleats on literally while you're supposed to be at third base. I could see guys getting pissy, man. If you get if if a, a cocky team comes up, they're doing the batting practice. They're all they get a huddle, they do a cheer together, and they kick your ass in, in, in one inning by 15, and they're talking crap. Yeah, I can see where people get a little pissy. Silly. You need to figure. You need, Charlie, to, you Charlie, need to figure out your team. Charlie's right. You get to the field two minutes before, seriously, and you're trying to slam two beers before the game. Yeah, you're getting right? drunk, having fun with your you're buddies. You're getting your cleats on. You're slamming it yes. back. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. That's already. what it Let's is. Go. Where's Nick? He's, he's slamming two beers. Yeah, he's coming. He's taking a piss. He'll be <laughs> back. Meanwhile, they're all dressed, decked out. They got a manager. They're drawing up plays. They're talking crap. They're walking. You need some big boys on that team, Zeddy boy. I, don't, up I actually don't like this. First and third bunk They're defense. bowling you around a little bit. I don't like this, dude. In my league, just I'm gonna don't, make some phone don't wear baseball pants in a in a beer softball. Oh, league. they're doing that, that that's too. That's the worst. Uh, no, they they didn't. But with cutoff sleeves, I've seen it before. Yeah, some of them do. And then they take a walk. Oh, that their name is the Destroyers. The Destroyers. Yeah. The, Jacked the out of their sluggers. Minds. Talking crap the whole time. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. Man. Or like. Uh, you know, number 69 in the back. Yeah, 69. <laughs> St. Louis City SC are interested in signing Roberto Firmino as a free agent when he leaves Liverpool this summer, per Tom Bogart. Bro- Bogart. Wow. Sweet. What's he all about? Woo. What's he all about, Seth? This guy, uh, Roberto Firmino. He plays for Liverpool? Yeah. I think he still does. Yeah. Uh, I-, I can't break you down his style of play and all that stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jimmy, what am I doing here? Whoa, whoa, Jimmy, what am I doing here? I'm trying to teach you. Oh, God. Because in broadcasting, you're going to be put on the spot, and you got to pretend like you know everything when clearly you don't. <laughs> so if you don't know, Seth, what have I we've signed been, up for? Here's what you say. You say, look, 
This is a guy who has all kinds yes. of international experience, it yes. and it's going to take him a while to adjust to what STL City there does. But he's an instant game changer <laughs> he is. because you have to account for him whenever the ball is near him. Exactly. Then, then Cam goes, well, all right. That's, well, yeah. That's that's great right. It's going to be great, everybody. And what you just said Kicks was nothing. Feet. What you just what I what I just said was nothing, but it's enough to fool someone exactly. like Cam yes. into thinking I know about exactly. it. Exactly. And you are don't you, need to fool you me, you to, need to fool the audience, but it's all to, good. Are you following me? I'm I, trying I hear to help you. you. No, I hear you. Right. I hear you. Real fast. I just, I, just, I don't feet. I don't want to lie on air. No, that's not so lying. It's not lying. It's not lying. That was ambiguously <laughs> put. <laughs> so exactly that's not a lie. No. He's speedy. You know, he's he's you know he's not you know he's not twenty, so he's got a ton of international exactly. experience. He plays for Liverpool. You know he's good because they're talking about him. Exactly. So you know once he comes to the MLS, he'll be a good player. And so other teams have to account for and him. And you know he's, he's got speed because they all do. So that's all you got to say. Yeah. And I'll be like, dang right. Wow, cool. I, good I job, can't wait Seth. to go. Yeah. I can't wait to go. Now I'm going to go because this cat's coming. That's and, all. And Seth made us, Seth made us want to go. I know. I'm going to go to one of your softball games, too, because it's starting to bug me a little bit. I don't like seeing you guys get bullied around like that. I know they're talking smack, too. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Walking and talking. Walking and talking. Uh-uh. Not my, my team watch. talks, too. So. Solly Not running to my up boy the score, said. mercy rule. I don't like this. I would like to go with a bullhorn. <laughs> yeah, I just we're all just, just watching. Like, all of us just watch them. Just, it's intimidation. Just heckle the other team. A little bit of intimidation. Bring some boys. Like, what's up? What's up with you? Just cheer on Seth the whole time. Seth, get you, right. go get him. Go get him. We're like, wear your jersey. You ain't going to anything. I ain't going to nothing. <laughs> we but got two we fans. Talk about it? <laughs> hey, if you play in Eureka, I'll go. How about this? We'll make it easier on everybody. So this is a Wednesday doubleheader league? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So next week, can you have one player film on his phone all of your at-bats? We're on a bye week next week, but okay. the week after. Following week, yes. bye week. we want yes, all of your at-bats. <laughs> I'll put together a little video if you want. They need a break. All your Let's ABs. Yeah. Have like your buddy it. on his phone, and we'll put together Charlie. your sizzle reel. Okay. Yes. I, they follow you, so they'll, they'll be able to send you the film. Yes. They can just text it to you. You can give it to me, yeah. airdrop Perfect. it to me the next day. Cool. That's and all. also, and Deal. catches. And if there's any, you know, I know it's hard to film the whole outfield, yeah. but maybe just at bats. That's yeah, yeah, fine. It'll be in that's the back. They'll also, see. That's it. fine. Try to find some people to root for you a little bit. Like, because you don't want to be that team. I got you guys. Team. No, no, we're fans. never going to a game. Thank you. We're can never I going to FaceTime you and just you can, yeah. send oh, it in the I'm dugout. I might press the In the stands so it looks like you guys have girlfriends and stuff. Just get some people there. And they see what I'm doing. Don't FaceTime me because every time I get FaceTime, I throw my phone. There's always I'm like on the in the bathroom or something. Like good God, FaceTime. Ugh. Taking Nate off the morning program is a big L in my humble opinion. Still love the show. Thanks, Biss Bulldozer. We're not taking him off. He's taking himself off. He's got a three-hour show to do. He wants out. He's got. We had nothing to do with it. He wants to do a three-hour show. He wants out. He don't want to produce anymore. He's not a producer. He's straight up talent, and he's gonna have a three-hour show. That's all, baby. And he can sleep in. He can sleep in. Everything's yeah, right? fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. He ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to listen to him for three hours in the afternoon bit. like I always do. I always text you when I'm listening to your show. Make me laugh. That's Nate's going to a three-hour show. That's all, baby. A three-hour yeah, show. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't kick him off. Get on with yourself. And it's with Rammer? It's with Rammer. Maddie will probably be a part of it. You know? Damn. Fro- hey, we need Maddie... This guy misses a lot of shows, oh, okay? I know. That's right. Can't be stealing our number one film. That is film. right. Uh-oh. This happened back in the day, okay? This this became a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need Maddie. A question just... Jim's going to be gone. A, a question just <laughs> crept into my little... Maddie could do cabeza. six hours. So when you're doing, when you're doing three hours, right? Yeah. And then Strickland walks in, will you leave your own show to help him with oh. whatever he's doing? <laughs> Imagine that. Just checking. He ain't no. doing that. No. I'm not doing that for Nate, Nate sits right where you're at, Jimmy. Right there. Right on your dip. Right on your loose dip that you leave on the seat. I do usually have to brush the seat off. Jimmy. How about that? You're lucky I didn't expose you and show how you leave your work. <laughs> you place. didn't tweet that? I did not because I'm a nice person. You would have done that to me. Get out of here. I'm a nice person. You, would, you said Jim? I had sexual relations with the redhead, and you tweeted that. But you're what? not going to. Remember the redhead murderer? What? Remember the kid? Oh, Alex Murdoch? Murdoch? Yeah, and you're like Cam and Yeah, Mur- that was funny. Yeah. You gotta bring like that a back. Hey. Thing to it, and you're not Cat. gonna you're not gonna tweet that. Cat. Get Cat. out of here. It's been a while since we brought Murdoch back, by the way. 
and the Cardinals have been losing, we stopped doing the whole lineup. But let's get back to the real, the real uh, matter we're talking about, which is Cat yesterday left early again yeah. to go to a game where they didn't have he power. Want to, though. He doesn't want he didn't to. He didn't have to be there because nothing aired. They're showing the sky cam from Elon Musk's uh, SpaceX. That was the camera or angle. the Chinese balloon. Right. And they got— Seems like Musk is living in your brain oh, rent-free. Uh, I kind of like Elon Musk, except for the whole why. Twitter. I, I watched that interview with the BBC, though. It was pretty funny. Pretty damn funny. And we're all losing our blue funny. check marks. 420 like, today. Is that, I don't know is if today 420? Yes. Yeah. Oh, snap, baby. Well, let's get back to What's up? Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's focus on— Don't lose focus Let's on focus on the important thing. Jimmy. Which is— and by the way, Matt Whitener comes in. God, he does such a great job. It's like that eight o'clock and nine o'clock hour yesterday. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but man, it was just like everything was clicking. But Matt comes in. He goes to sit down. All he White wants pants. is a clean, tidy workspace. And there's just I know. there's tobacco everywhere. Just loose leaf He's tobacco all over the seat. Ma- hey, Maddie had ba- like whitish. Uh, pants on. Cream pants? Cream pants. He almost sat in that. And he had to do things afterwards. He had to talk to people and stuff like that. It would have looked like he crapped himself. It yeah. kind of would have been funny. First of all, I love Matty. He does a great job. I mean, I, when you can get an upgrade when a guy fills in like that, it's good. Uh, as for the stuff on the seat, I cleaned the seat. Now, I can tell you this. No, you did yeah. not. Oh, not yesterday. Well, I, th- I think you should hear me out. because Should I tweet it out? You won't believe me, but it's true. Those There's major. Russian operatives in the station, and I'll clean this hey. off. And those Russian operatives, of- and you know who's <gasps> doing it? Putin. Putin. Because he wants to take down everything I believe that you. people in America love, like Hot Take Central. You're right. So he's trying to create inner turmoil, and I don't know who the Russian asset is. Who I know, I know could Tucker it be? is. I know Tucker is a Russian asset, but someone... Put that on the thing to try to cause inner turmoil. I believe one me. No, I believe you. one me. I, I deleted you. it. I believe one me. I deleted the rumors. It. Yeah. One you me. Did. I deleted it. God, if that was me, you would have tweeted that out the wazoo. Out. Yeah, the but wazoo. you kind of do have a crush on the uh, redheaded. Uh, when did I say? How did that even come about? You can't just like say. Unless no, you I can. Said something. You can. You can definitely. Yeah, but it's not funny. Uh, I disagree with that. Oh, well, te- this is where Cat and I. If you guys think he's funny, well, they'll probably be like, "No, I don't, listen, I don't understand." I didn't say anything that I wanted. It doesn't to do matter. Anything. Well, yeah, well, kind of does. It's no, got to be like a and some sort of something. No, this show. Or else that's it was lazy. a funny tweet. Or that's lazy. It was a funny tweet. That we're gay together. <laughs> Who what? said gay? No one said he's wow. gay. And you, you know, he's like, not gay. He's not the kid. He's not gay. Or. That's Buster. As far as anyone knows, uh, talking Buster. About Alec. Yeah, and he gay? The dad? No. Buster's the kid. Yes. They don't know he's gay. There's a there's a suspicion that That's why he posted that it. the boy that was killed on the side of the road, that this this was an openly gay yeah. teenager. There is suspicion that maybe this kid maybe. who was so killed clever Charlie. had some type of potential relationship, allegedly. With Buster, yeah. So Cam so knows. That's why it's like, we were you're focusing uh, on Alec, the dad. No. I'm tired of your crazy <laughs> conspiracy so, so like, theories. Clever Charles, we, like Cam's gay too. They might be in a relationship. Wow, and then you dude. Posted that. All he said was, that's "You're fond you of a guy." That. No, believe me, I'm not gay. You took that. <laughs> you took that in a really weird place. Okay. You posted it. Cat and I were just trying to have a discussion uh, about a topical issue. That's hilarious. I put you next to Buster Murdoch. Yeah. That didn't insinuate anything. People are like, "Oh, cool." Phil Cousy is the only ump to throw out a pitcher due to substance since Cousy. MLB Cousy. implemented the rule. Cousy. It's Cousy. Don't care. Ask Jim Edmonds about Phil Cousy. Oh, uh, yeah? What happened there? Long time ago in the uh, NLCS, I believe it was 2005, Phil Cousy ejected Jim Edmonds in a pivotal point in the game after he called him out on a high strike. Guy's a tool. Is he a tool? Did Jimmy lose his mind? Yes. I like to see and that. And that was in, you know, down, in, down in Houston, Cardinals and the Houston Astros, back when they had those killer Bs, Biggio, Berkman, Bagwell, Damn. Beltron. So he lost it pretty good? Pretty good. He tossed La Russa, too, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Right after. These guys, just, when they're in, like, they don't, there's not really a, a big revolving door with these umps. Like, they're old. You could probably do it for a long, long time. You don't have to keep your speed up as long as you could see They've and not have a heart attack. They've a bit, though. They, okay. they They've definitely changed that. In fact, now I used to. You could pretty much recognize every major league umpire. Yeah. Uh, if you went to the game and saw a scorecard with the 
names printed. But now, I, I hardly, if I know maybe two oh, really? in a four-set rotation, that, that would be high. And sometimes it got to the point where the umpires understood that the fans came to see them sure. uh, do their deal, like Joe West, country Question. singer. Question, just hypothetical. If Alec Murdoch was an umpire, how would he do his, his ball strike safe and out <laughs> calls? Let's see. Cat. <laughs> that, that's a strike. <laughs> that's how he would say That is a strike. How's he doing right now? Uh, ball. He'd say, uh, uh, ball. Ball. Mm-hmm. You're out. Get on Hillbill. That's his call. You're out. You're dead. I'm sorry. Out. <laughs> You're dead. Uh, I, I don't. I don't. I don't like prison food. But if you saw me before, I was kind of heavy set, and now I dropped a lot of weight. Now part of it is because uh, I have to run from the other inmates because they get amorous from time to time. But overall, it's been a good experience. Actually, we we just got uh, exclusive sound of what the Murdoch strike call would sound like. Would you guys like to hear this? Yes. This is Hot Take Central exclusive content here. Look at that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you guys want to go to break? Yeah. That's what no, I just want to. I just want to. I just want to finish. This, oh, oh, oh my God! It is. I, that's when you, what I'm going to miss. Cole, you even when you that. think back about it, everyone around that guy died. I mean, wow. it's amazing. Now, coincidence? I'm, it's a coincidence. I've been a, I've been a victim of circumstance. Uh, I understand. That. A lot of times, uh, I would sit down with my wife. And we'd have the TV trays watching the, the television. Oh my and God. she'd say, how come so many people are dying? And I'd say, I don't know. Now, let's enjoy our Salisbury steak. Oh, man. I was wondering what you were going to do with that. I was wondering. God. <laughs> Everyone around funny. that guy died. That's not funny. Right after Whew. he switches the insurance policy into yep. his name. Yeah. No. Coincidence. All right. Okay. Okay. We got to regroup. But just so you know. There was no insinuation. Oh, no, 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 no. There was no insinuation with you and Buster. Hilarious. That was a total, just an so innocent clever. deal. So clever. Sounds like you're a little rattled. Oh, this is dumb. What was do you got? It? I think the. Uh, well, let's you, do a poll. Your buddies say it. No, go ahead. You go. You think my buddies listen your buddies, to the show? Yeah, I don't know. Go they don't. You got them. What are they too smart? They're, your yeah. buddies are too smart. Uh, just, yeah. We're listening to 101 <laughs> where they make sense. <laughs> yes, sir. They want to hear about the NFL draft. Oh yeah. <laughs> when is that? I'm sure it's soon. <laughs> what do you got? No, what do you got? It's actually home? a week from today. Yeah. Interesting. That's soon. In Kansas City. And oh. Matty Whitener told me yesterday he's trying to book a spot that we would go broadcast live from. In KC? Yeah. Oh, dang dee dog. You want, you want to find out what, what, the, Where are we Bucks, going? what the Bucks are going to do with that seventh overall pick? Is it high noon or is it hot take central? High noon going? Oh, yeah. High noon. Can we uh, all go hang out? Sure. Dang right, dude. KC, haven't been there yet. And Jimmy's out next week? Jimmy's out next week. You've never been to KC? Not really. Oh, wow. I've drove through it, you know, but there's no hockey there. Maybe I went in a tournament, but it was maybe outside of KC when I was a kid. They got to hockey. No, I know, but like AAA hockey and stuff. Yeah. Like, I didn't play the minors over there or anything. So I didn't really get to, I've never really seen the city, but I heard nothing but good things about that damn town. It's a cool place. Yeah. Clean, cool, girls. Go ahead. You know who loves KC? Hmm. Mark's Appliance? Buster Murdoch. Oh, gee, Charlie. All right, let me tell you about Clever. Schnooks Rewards. I'll tell you what. If you were a single guy like a Buster Murdoch, you'd probably want to go to Eatwell Market. Buy Schnooks for happy hour, 4 to 6, Boone's Crossing in Chesterfield. Man, you go out there, you get that custom coffee, fresh smoothie, sip and stroll with a glass of wine. What's wrong with you? I just like how we take a joke that's not even funny, and we just keep <laughs> we just keep burying it in the ground. Even It's not even funny. Like what? What? Buster Murdoch. It just makes me laugh. Oh, it is funny. And if it's, well, it's, it's rattling it's cam, which makes me like it but more. I'm I don't even think it's funny at it's all. The dumbest thing in but the world. But no, no, it is. But it bothers you, so now I like it more. Okay, Andy. Well, it's true. That's what Andy does. Yeah, but you can tell you don't like it. You guys it. are all so the same. So now I like You're it more. You're all the same. It's what Andy does. I know, but like if you weren't. That's what he does. If you makes no sense. I know. And you just dig it. That's the point. That's but if amazing. You, like when we chirp you, there's always something to it. When okay. we chirp Jimmy, there's something to it. I know, but if you weren't. Find something else. If you weren't bothered by He's it. down the middle. We would stop. Wait, you just said <laughs> you guys are ripe for us to make fun of. 
but not you. No. There's no reason to possibly make, make fun clever. of you. Go ahead. But we're I really only don't care about almost anything, to be honest. We're reacting to we your don't. reaction. 